what are the challenges for there to for this to like blossom? I think cost is part of it for sure. And we've got and that was part of why that sort of set of predictions was relevant was because not only will the models get stronger, but they'll also get smaller and cheaper and the infrastructure will be there to run them and on device will be there and edge will be there. So I think that's all part of it. And then of course some of the mitigation strategies we have there is we have thankfully like a very strong AI and machine learning team. So mm -hmm. as as soon as someone needs to make their model work, like it's a bit off topic from what you're saying, but I think it's relevant is these foundation models, the fact that they have all this common sense wisdom and knowledge built in means that they just work out of the box, which is new for machine learning, right? You don't need yep. a bunch of data to train them yeah. to work, but they can do so many things that they don't need to do. Like they probably don't need to speak 10 languages. They don't need to opine on astrophysics and microbiology and ancient history. So once you actually get a data loop going with an actual game, now you can use that data loop to figure out like, what can you train out of this thing? What can you distill out? Like how yeah. small of a model can you make it? Then you can run it locally or cheaply in the cloud. And so I think all of that is there. And I think, I actually think that probably is aside from education and teaching people the right way to use it and understanding how to solve problems. Them, that's that I think is the biggest thing people are so worried. I feel like I'm so boxing now, but like, in the early days, people were, st they always told us, oh, people are going to be so worried about like brand or about guardrails. And like they are, but they're not that worried about it. They're going to be so worried about where the training data came from. They're not going to use it if they can't verify that every piece of training data, like this is not a conversation that comes up all that often anymore. I think we're just going to move past that. So now it really is, can they work? Can they solve the problem? Can we smoke and mirrors enough of it so that we can yeah. not overuse the machine learning inference? And then can we just get the cost down so that we can run it in a cost-effective way? And this is why I think we're going to, as I say, we're going to win, but I think this is why this is going to work. It's because... Mm.